हेलो एवरीवन वी वर डूइंग एक्सरसाइज फाइव दिस द क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर माया हैज अ रेड रिबन ऑफ लेंथ फाइव एंड वन अपॉन फाइव मीटर एंड अ ग्रीन रिबन ऑफ लेंथ टू एंड वन अपॉन टू मीटर व्हाट इज द टोटल लेंथ ऑफ द टू रिबन सो स्टूडेंट टू फाइंड आउट द टोटल लेंथ ऑफ बोथ रिबन यू नीड टू एड बोथ फ्रैक्शंस सो फर्स्ट वी राइट लेंथ ऑफ अ रेड रिबन इज इक्वल टू फाइव वन अपॉन फाइव मीटर नाउ लेंथ ऑफ ग्रीन रिबन इज इक्वल टू टू एंड वन अपॉन टू मीटर देफोर टोटल लेंथ ऑफ बोथ रिबन्स एड बोथ फ्रैक्शंस दैट इज फाइव एंड वन अपॉन फाइव मीटर प्लस टू वन अपॉन टू मीटर फर्स्ट वी कन्वर्ट मिक्स फ्रैक्शन इन टू अ इन प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन इट शुड बी रिटर्न एज ट्वेंटी सिक्स अपॉन फाइव प्लस फाइव अपॉन टू फर्स्ट वी फाइंड द एल सी एम ऑफ डिनोमिनेटर सो द एल सी एम ऑफ डिनोमिनेटर इज इक्वल टू टेन सो टू फॉर्म द इक्विलेंट फ्रैक्शन विद डिनोमिनेटर टेन नाउ लेट अस टेक फर्स्ट फ्रैक्शन दैट इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स अपॉन फाइव सो हाउ मच मल्टीप्लाई इन फाइव टू गेट टेन इट्स टू टाइम्स सो बोथ न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू विच इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी टू अपॉन टेन नाउ लेट अस टेक अनादर फ्रैक्शन दैट इज फाइव अपॉन टू नाउ हाउ मच मल्टीप्लाई इन टू to get 10 it's 5 times so multiply 5 in both numerator and denominator which is equal to 25 upon 10 now add both the fraction that is 52 upon 10 plus 25 upon 10 now as you can see the denominators are same so Fifty two plus twenty five upon ten, which is equal to seventy seven upon ten meter. Now, it should be written like as seven one seven seven ten meter. So total length of both ribbons is equal to seven and seven upon ten meter. Now question number five is the weight of two books together is three and one upon four kg. If the weight of the one book is one and two upon five kg, find the weight of the other book. So students, to find weight of other book, you need to subtract smaller fraction from the greater fraction. So first we write weight of one book is equal to one to an up. Two upon five kg. Now total weight of the both books is equal to three and one upon four kg. So therefore, weight of other book is equal to total weight of the both books that is three one upon four minus weight of one book is equal to one two upon five. First, we convert. Mixed fraction into an improper fraction, so it should be written as thirty upon four minus seven upon five. So the fraction is thirteen upon four minus seven upon five. First, we find LCM of the denominator. So LCM is equal to twenty. Let us form equivalent fraction with denominator twenty. Let us take first fraction that is thirteen upon four. How much multiply in four to get twenty? It's five times. So we multiply five in both numerator and the denominator, which is equal to. Sixty-five upon 
20. Now take second fraction that is 7 upon 5. Now how much multiplying 5 to get 20? It's 4 times. So both numerator and denominator multiply by 4 which is equal to 28 upon 20. Now separate 65 upon 20 minus 28 upon 20 which is equal to 65 minus 28 upon 20 that is equal to 37 upon 20 kg it should be written like 1 17 upon 20 kgs so the weight of the other books is 1 17 upon 20 kg question number 6 is nina bought 4 and 5 upon 6 meter of cloth while rajan bought 2 and 1 upon 4 meter cloth so question number a is find the total length of the cloth boat all together. So students, let us do question number A. So students, to find out the total length of the cloth boat by together, you need to add quantity of cloth boat by Nina and Rajan. So, first we write length of cloth bought by Nina is equal to 4, 5 upon 6 meter. Now, length of cloth bought by Rajan is equal to 2 and 1 upon 4 meter. So, therefore, total length of cloth is equal to length of the cloth bought by Nina, 4. 5 upon 6 plus length of cloth bought by Rajan that is 2 1 upon 4. First we convert mixed fraction into an improper fraction. It should be written like as 29 upon 6 plus 9 upon 4. First we find the LCM of denominator which we have learned in previous classes. So, LCM of 6 and 4 is equal to 12. So, let us form the equivalent fractions with denominator 12. Now, let us take first fraction that is 29 upon 6. So, how much multiply in 6 to get 12? It's 2 times. So, both numerator and denominator multiply by 2 which is equal to 58 upon 12. Now, let us take second fraction that is 9 upon 4. So, how much multiply in 4 to get 12? It's 3 times. So, both numerator and denominator multiply by 3. So, 9 3 is 27, 4 3 is 12 which is equal to 27 upon 12. Now add both the fractions. First fraction is 58 upon 12 plus 27 upon 12 which is equal to 58 plus 27 upon 12. That's equal to 85 upon 12 it should be written like as 7 1 upon 12 meter so total length of cloth bought by Nina and Rajan is 7 1 upon 12 meter now question number B Nina bought 4 and 5 upon 6 meter of cloth while Rajan bought 2 and 1 upon 4 meter cloth. 
so who put more cloth and by how many meter so students to find out who put more cloth and by how many meters we need to find out difference of clothes length it means we need to subtract so first we write length of cloth bought by nina is equal to 4 and 5.6 meter now length of cloth bought by rajan is equal to 2 and 1.4 meter so difference of clothes length which is equal to 4 5.6 which is bought by nina minus 2 1 upon 4 meter which is bought by Rajan. Now let us convert mixed fraction into an improper fraction. It should be written like as 29 upon 6 minus 9 upon 4. So first we find the LCM of 6 and 4. So LCM of 6 and 4 which is equal to 12. Now form equivalent fractions with denominator 12. Let us take first fraction that is 29 upon 6. So how much multiply in 6 to get 12? Yes it's 2 times. So we multiply in numerator and denominator by 2 which is equal to 58 upon 12. Now take Second fraction that is 4 upon 9 upon 4. So how much multiply in 4 to get 12? It's 3 times. So multiply 3 in numerator and denominator which is equal to 27 upon 12. Now subtract. First fraction is 58 upon 12 minus 27 upon 12. That is equal to 58 minus 27 upon 12, which is equal to 31 upon 12. It should be written as 2, 7 upon 12 meter. Therefore, Nina bought 31 upon 12 meter more cloth.